Good afternoon. The Sunshine Coast University Hospital Emergency Department has seen unprecedented numbers of people coming in seeking medical attention. Sunshine Coast Health said over 56,000 patients were treated between October and December last year, representing a 4% increase. But all critically injured patients were seen within the recommended timeframes. This American date Nick Lusco is putting the region's environment on the forefront, pointing out his involvement in cleaning up the Noosa River and contributing to the state government's legislation plans for boat angering and pollution controls. He told 10 News Local the changes will have a dramatic impact. The amenity of the river, uh, fair and reasonable access for the community, and importantly, it will make a marked difference to the environmental uh, aspect of the river. It'll clean up uh, the problems we had with the Benthlick layer. We'll uh, start to see restoration of seagrasses. Checking sport and there were major disruptions to local cricket due to the weekend's wet weather. In Sunshine Coast Women's Tier 2 Round 10, the University Suns versus TNCC and Caboolture Snakes versus GDCC Gold Games were all declared abandoned. Meanwhile, GDCC Green forfeited their game against the Maroochydore Swans. Round 11 is scheduled for this Sunday and is the last round before the grand final. Looking at the weather for the southeast region, a shower or two in Calandra and Gympie, both max of 29 degrees. Noosa showers, meanwhile it will be partly cloudy for Toowoomba, slightly cooler, tops of 26 degrees. And if you're heading down to Brisbane today, it is looking at a top of 29 degrees for the state capital. I'll have more news for the Sunshine Coast and Noosa in an hour. Until then, I'm Daniel Pizarro. Stay with us here on 10. See you soon.